Hey guys, I want to quickly talk about how I beat 1222 using only 4 star character and 4 star weapon. Now I do want to make a quick call out that I do have consolation on a lot of these characters and all my stats will be shown at the end of the video so just in case you are unsure what kind of stat I have. Now this is not a full detailed guide, there has been other methods such as running a tanky geo character or simply running a permit freeze but this is just the method that worked for me. Starting the floor off, you will notice that I have 8 minutes and 46 on the clock. For anyone who is curious on the other side, I simply ran the Chinese national team again using only 4 star weapon. If you have a character like Fenty, you can potentially clear that side a lot faster, giving you more time on this side. Coming back to this side, this floor is very big on checking if you can mitigate damage with your team. And for me, this is going to be the Beidou elemental burst as well as the Onus Yu and the Onus elemental burst for healing. Starting the floor off, I immediately went for the duck at the back. This is because they have a hydro aura on the ground that is very very hard to dodge if you're playing melee character, which I am. And so I went for these first to take them out. Moving on, you will see that I just simply rotated through my skill and used the Diona elemental skill and burst to freeze the enemy. Here you also see that I hold the Beidou's elemental skill instead of just popping it. And that's because when you're holding it, it'll prevent you from taking damage. And then here we just DPS DPS with our Beidou's Burst and Sucrose and Fischl. And once again, you see me holding the Beidou's Elemental Burst to mitigate some damage and give me some breathing room. And then here we will start our second cycle of the rotation and again going through every single character's Elemental Skill and Burst and dropping all of those deployable, including Beidou's, Diona's, and Sucrose. Here you'll see that unfortunately my Sucrose Elemental Burst dropped it a bit too far, but that's actually okay, it's not that big of a deal since we're mostly done with all the first phase. Finally, we just simply DPS this board down slowly, or these two board rather. Now unfortunately this board right here didn't group up since the beginning of the fight, so as you can see he is almost full HP, and it does cost me a fair amount of time to kill him, and it's very unfortunate that I lost some time, but that's actually okay since we still have a lot of time to spare. Moving on to the second phase of the floor, you will see I immediately turn to the crane and that is the reason why I chose to fight at this spot because this is the spot where the crane will spawn at. Now as soon as this crane spawns, they will do a water attack. So if you have your Beidou's elemental skill on cooldown, this is a very very easy perfect deflect that you can do to one shot them. Unfortunately for me, my Beidou's elemental skill was on cooldown so I end up having to dodge it and didn't get the one shot off here. After dealing with the crane, you can see that the Pirate Abyss Mage have teleported over as you would expect and the crab is gonna slowly walk over. So you don't have to go over to them and you just let them come to you. At this point, the floor is pretty much done. You don't have to hit the crab at all, just let the Beidou Elemental Burst deal with it. And here you can see that I have around 10 seconds to spare. So yeah, good luck. 